I would spend like hours doing my hair and my makeup just to get some pictures of me and my ass is like the main focus of the picture. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna give you guys another girl talk video. The first one that I did on my channel did really well. A lot of the girlies were like relating and then some of y'all were hating but i'm used to that like that's besides the point that's like literally story of my life but i wanted to tell you guys today and just be like open and just be so transparent and tell you guys why like i just stopped using instagram like i quit using instagram for the main purpose of like i just had to like it, it came to a point where i was like you know what I need to like delete this app from my phone. I didn't delete my account yet. I just had to get off of it. I was addicted to Instagram. Like I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I wasn't taking like the most appropriate pictures if you get what I'm saying. Like I wasn't naked or anything, but the the poses, the poses were giving like provocative. Like just think of like IG baddie, rapper baby mama pictures, and you get the gist of what I'm saying. <laughs> I would spend like hours doing my hair and my makeup just to take a picture and my ass be like the main focus. And it's disgusting. Like I'm kind of like disgusted with myself that like I was doing that because I wasn't raised like that. My mother did not raise me like that at all. And then on top of that, like I was portraying someone that I wasn't. That just wasn't who I am. Like it, it just really wasn't. So I've been off of Instagram for three years. I'm 25 now. I'm a Gen Zer. Period. I know that like our culture is like super sexualized. Everything is like hypersexual. Like you have to give like sexy. If you're not giving sexy, you're not giving anything. And I kind of fell into that trap because I was like, you know what? Maybe if I start taking like certain pictures, like people will come to my page and that's what happened. I was taking like, you know, those kind of like pictures where it's like, it, it was giving like, okay, are you a bottle girl? Like, are you an OF model? Like what, like, what are we doing here? I kept some of those pictures in my camera roll just for this video particularly and for the thumbnail. But when I'm done editing and doing the thumbnail, I'm deleting it from my phone because I'm just very disgusted. Like those pictures are not me. That girl was lost. That girl was just following the crowd, following what she sees. And when you see something, you keep seeing something pop up so many times, you feel like you gotta emulate it because that's all you see. When they say everybody looks alike, they're not lying. Everyone has their body done, everyone has their teeth done, everyone has their lips done, everyone's wearing the wigs, the lashes, hair done, nails done, everything did. And yes, everyone does look alike, everyone is dressing alike. Like, you know, I feel like we're all becoming clones of each other because that's what we see, that's what's trending, that's what's pushed on us. So, you know, it's this thing where like when you keep seeing something, you feel like you got to emulate it because that's what's trendy. That's what's cool. That's what everyone's doing. And I fell into that trap. I would say mainly because like my frontal lobe wasn't developed yet. It just developed like last August. So now I'm looking at things like differently. Like, you know, I don't I don't want to like subscribe to that. I don't want to look like that. I don't want to be that. But I was on Instagram and I was addicted to it. I was on it all day. I, this would be me like all day. All day this was me just taking pictures, taking videos, posting to my story, posting to my page. And you look at these pictures and you'd be like, okay, it's giving baddie. Like, okay, she, okay, it's giving like IG baddie, okay. And like, as soon as I post a picture, notifications coming in, coming in, coming in. And that kind of fed like my dopamine like kind of thing. So like it made me feel good. Like I was like, okay, I look good. Like the girls and the guys like are loving it. The gays was loving it too. Like everyone is like gravitating towards me. So I must look good. And plus I'm not, I was natural. I was natural. I am natural. Like I don't have my body done. But I'm, you know, the guys are saying like I look good. The girls are saying like, oh my God, your body goes. So like I'm a, I look good and I'm natural. So like I was like, imagine if I get my body done. So then I fell into the trap of like, you know what? I feel like I look okay, 
but I want to look better. Like I want, I want like the Fashion Nova model body, like the the BBL, the the big hips, the small waist. And I still struggle with that today, where I'm like, I'm looking at myself and I'm like, I feel like everybody got their body done, everybody got shots, everybody has a BBL, and I'm over here like natural, like. And I still, like I said, I still fall into that trap where like, I want to do it, but then it's like I don't. Because what type of, what am, what am I showing to my daughter when she comes? Like, she's going to see me and she's going to, she's going to obviously tell like, okay, mommy has her body done, but this girl doesn't. So she's going to be like, what, what do I do? Like, she's going to feel confused. And I don't want her to feel like she has to subscribe to that. And I think about that a lot, especially like being pregnant. And then I'm like, you know what? I don't, I don't want my daughter to feel like she's not good enough because she saw me following the trends. And that's another thing, trends come and go. I hate the shade room. The shade room is so toxic. It's so disgusting. Like the people in the comments, the people that created the shade room are the devils. Like that page needs to be like abolished like it is the most disgusting representation of black culture black entertainment like it's oh my god it's so disgusting and toxic like ill but when you go in the shade room you see all the rapper um baby mamas and all the instagram girls the of girls and it's like you feel like you have to look like that because that's what's cool that's what's gaining traction that's what's getting people to like follow and click and comment and stuff and i felt like i had to be that but like i wasn't raised like that at all like i don't i don't drink i don't go to clubs that's just like not my my thing and if you were to look at my pictures, you would think like, oh yeah, she's a party girl. Like, yeah, she, you know, she, she twerking and stuff and shaking her ass and all in the mirror showing off her body. So yeah, she must be into that. But I wasn't <laughs> like just, just so degrading. Like I'm just so disgusted, <laughs> but I feel like sharing this video because I don't know, maybe, maybe someone else out there struggles or struggles or has struggled with this, like kind of like battle like you know you feel like you have to look like this you have to portray yourself like this because that's what's in but then like that's not really you you know so i'll never forget one day this guy i think he i think he was a club promoter he worked at starlet or something i don't know and he dm'd me and he was like oh i got a job for you as a bottle girl like hit me up and i didn't respond but i'm over here like sir if only you knew me I'm very shy, very introverted until you get to know me, but you would think like, you would think like the total opposite if you, when you look at, when you looked at my Instagram feed. It feels weird to talk about it now because I feel like I'm just so past it, but I feel like I had to make this video because I just want to let you girlies know, like, you don't have to like subscribe to that. You don't have to get your body done. You don't have to, you know become a caricature of something that's trending something that you know that you're not but if that is you then that's more power to you i love that for you but for my girlies that are like the introverted like black girlies that aren't really into that but you feel like you have to like you really don't have to like you don't at all i guess you could say that i like the attention i was getting because i was I would make my money from home from like Instagram and like going live on Bego and stuff. So like I would just be chilling at home and I would, you know, take pictures all day, post them, post on my story and stuff like that. And it was kind of depressing because it's like I'm just at home all day and you would think I'd be outside. Like it was giving like the the image I was portraying was like outside, but I really wasn't outside. I was inside, like in the house because since I take those pictures, I take the makeup off and get in my bed and just scroll aimlessly for hours. And that's just like such a depressing life to live. Like that's just very sad and pathetic. <laughs> I'll never forget this girl that I met. She was like two years younger than me and her mentality definitely showed it. Um, we had met 
around the time that I eventually like quit using Instagram. So my mentality was like so different from hers. She wanted to be a bottle girl. She wanted to be like a rapper, baby mama. She wanted to chase that lifestyle. And you know what, more power to you, whatever. That's cool. Like, you know, I'm not judging anybody. Get it how you live it, you know? So she asked me one day, she was like, oh, do you have Instagram? And I told her, I was like, I do, but I don't use it. I'm taking a break from it. And she looked at me like I was crazy. Like she couldn't believe it. Like she was like, but she she was another one. Like Instagram was her life. So of course she would look at me crazy because like she asked me, she was like, oh, how many followers did you have? I'm like 20,000 something, something like that. I don't remember. And she was like, oh my God, you need to get back on there. And I'm like, not really. I didn't really care for it like that. Like, yeah, I'd post pictures and guys would hit me up and stuff like that. But I don't really, like, that stuff just doesn't impress me anymore. Like, yeah, it gave me, like, a dopamine fix at the time. But now, like, I'm like, I don't really care for that stuff. So when I told her, like, the kind of DMs I got and stuff like that and, like, the guys with the blue check, she was like, you need to get back on there. She was like, you had guys with blue checks in your DM. Like, you need to get back on there. And I'm looking at her like, girl, like, ew. I know, like, in our culture, especially, like, it's the thing now to chase, like, a rapper or a football player, basketball player. I know that's, like, the whole, you know, big thing now. But it's not worth it. I don't trust industry, guys. That's one. And two, it's just not worth it. Like, you have to compete with a whole bunch of other broads putting your health at risk that's one and then another thing is these guys in the industry think that you're supposed to kiss the ground that they walk on they expect you to do like everything and everything and bend over backwards so you're gonna be doing that for a while and probably won't even be a main chick and that's just the tea on that the whole like overly sexualization especially of you know black girls and black women i feel like we don't have role models like that so we, we we just take what we can get and we just try to emulate you know what what's pushed on us basically i feel like if i had met that girl when i was still like in my instagram phase and trying to be something i wasn't we would have clicked we probably would have been each other's photographers and trying to get our igs blown up but just, just talking to her and her saying like, oh, I want to get my lips done. I'm going to get my teeth done. I want to get my body done. And I was like, geez, like, so it's not just me. Like, it kind of made me feel like, okay, so this isn't a just me thing. Like, this is affecting like young girls. This app is like messing with young girls self-esteem and what they feel like they should look like. Like if my family saw my Instagram page at the time, they would probably think it was like two different people because like they know me personally. And don't get me wrong, I love tight clothes. Like that's all I wear. Even being pregnant now, like I still wear tight clothes. I don't care. But there's a way to give like sexy without giving like straight up fuck me. You get what I'm saying? So like looking at looking back at those pictures um i'm disgusted like it was one time someone had sent me a video on instagram not too long ago and i had to log in to watch it and i was kind of like kind of like reluctant to do it because i'm like i don't really want to log in because i feel like if i do then i might fall back into that trap like i've been off this app for three years life has never been better i feel great there's some days where i feel like you know i kind of want to get my body done like i kind of want to get my teeth done and then there's mostly days where i feel fine like i don't have constant like images of what i should look like you know in my face and making me feel insecure making me feel less than so life has been great so i log in to watch the video and after i watched the video i just started scrolling and i was just disgusted like the explore page disgusted shade room disgusted so so instagram has like this category where you can see like your archive stories i was disgusted like the stuff that i posted like i couldn't even believe it i'm like this isn't even me like i was like oh my god like the selfies the the full body pictures the mirror pictures just like showing off everything another thing was i would 
I was like flexing a lot. Like I was, I'm a shopaholic. I love to shop. But I felt like it was this thing where like I had to like, you know, show people like I got it. Like, yeah, I could buy this. I could buy that. And I would show off like the stuff I buy and just being very materialistic. I am materialistic still, but not, not to that extent. Like you might see me pop out with something, but I'm not like taking a video of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah but it's all a learning experience and you know it's hard out here it really is because you know society tells you you gotta be you gotta be sexy you gotta take your clothes off sex sells i mean look at the music industry all the girls are you know stripping down everybody looks the same and everybody got their ass out everybody's twerking and busting a wine and stuff so it's just a society that we live in, but I'm just happy that I was able to unplug from that and kind of, you know, look at things from a different angle and be like, you know what? I don't think I want to do that anymore. And I'm happy with myself. I'm happy that, you know, yeah. <laughs> like I said, I still struggle. Don't get me wrong. I still struggle where like, I'm, I'm nervous about how my body's going to look after I have my baby. Cause I'm like, you know, what if I don't like my body? What if I want to get it done? But then it's like, I don't want to get it done because what if I do and I have a complication or I get it done, I get addicted. Like, it's it's just a lot of things. Just It's hard being a female. It really is. Because <laughs> it's like so much is, is expected of you and you have to look a certain way all the time. And the minute you don't, it's like, oh, nobody's checking for you. Like, eh, next, like, we're going to go look at a bad bitch. Like, we're not looking at you. But, you know, it's just the way the world is. So, yeah. <laughs> Do I miss Instagram? Yes and no. I miss, like, being able to make money from it. Yeah, but at what cost? Like, I was basically, like, degrading my image for what? I'm just happy that I just outgrew that. But, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed my rants of why I quit social media. I stopped trying to be an IG baddie. Thought culture is killing us mentally, physically also. It's it's killing us like in all ways, in all shapes and forms, especially mentally because of the whole like, I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to keep up with this. I have to look like this. I have to do this. I gotta get my lips done. I gotta get my fillers. I gotta do it. Like, no, just be yourself and just be yourself. like yeah and limit your time on instagram if you are on instagram you could put a little timer on your phone to remind you to take a break so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video please let me know what you guys think let me know like can you relate has this happened to you like are you going through this have you gone through this let me know what you guys think Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Also, let me know if I should do more girl talk videos. Like, I don't like hearing myself talk, to be honest. I find my voice very annoying, but I just want to know, like, do you guys want me to do, like, more girl talk videos? Like, let me know what you guys want. Oh, so, yes. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.